Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain all the Office apps and also some alternatives that you can find on our website. Office 365 works with monthly or yearly subscriptions. First of all, we're going to explain the apps included in the Microsoft 365 Business Standard Edition and the ones included in the Office 365 Enterprise E1 Edition. Finally, all the other apps that are less common but still very useful nowadays. Standalone apps. We have Microsoft Whiteboard. Microsoft Whiteboard is basically a whiteboarding tool and it's a very simple way to start collaborating with others in real time. Then we have Microsoft Editor. It's an intelligent writing assistant that is available in 20 plus languages. It's been called the Grammarly competitor and it's apparently an AI powered platform that requires a Microsoft sign in but will be available through Word, Outlook and Web. Now we have Microsoft Project. Microsoft Project allows you to do project management in a very intuitive way with plenty of Gantt chart abilities all within the project. Moving on we have Microsoft Visio. Microsoft Visio is a diagramming and vector graphics application. Basically it's the application to draw some diagrams and flowcharts. Microsoft To Do is a cloud-based task management application. It allows users to manage their tasks from a smartphone, tablet or a computer. Now we're gonna talk about the Business Standard Edition. As always, you can get this product from our website. You can choose between a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription. Both of them include the same applications, are for 5 devices and works for Mac and PC. Microsoft Word is a graphical word processing program that users can type with. Its purpose is to allow users to type and save documents. Similar to other word processors, it has helpful tools to make documents. Microsoft Excel is Microsoft spreadsheet program. You can use Excel to store, organize and analyze data. We have Outlook that is a personal information manager software system from Microsoft and it's available as a part of the Microsoft Office suite. Though primarily an email client, Outlook also includes such functions as calendaring, task managing, contact managing, note taking, journal logging and web browsing. PowerPoint, also very famous, is a great presentation software and it offers word processing, drawing, outlining, graphing, and some presentation management tools. Then we have Access. Access is not that popular, but basically it's an information management tool or relational database that helps you store information for reference, reporting, and analysis. Access can also overcome the limitations found when trying to manage large amounts of information in Excel or other spreadsheet applications. OneNote is a note-taking program for free-form information gathering and multi-user collaboration. It gathers users' notes, drawing, screen clippings, and audio commentaries. Notes can be shared with other OneNote users over the internet or a network. And finally, we have Publisher. Publisher is a desktop publishing application from Microsoft, differing from Microsoft Word in that the emphasis is placed on page layout and design rather than text composition and proofing. It's a powerful software application used for desktop publishing and it allows you to manipulate features such as page size, text, graphics and borders. Publisher's strengths are in its ability to bring together text and images to make professional looking flyers, brochures, handouts and newsletters. The difference between the Standard Edition and the Enterprise Edition is Skype. Skype was built to help you share experiences and get things done with others by video calls or messages, but nowadays it's being replaced with Microsoft Teams. Moving on, we have all these other apps that you can also find inside a package of Microsoft 365. The first one is the previously mentioned Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is a collaboration app built for hybrid work so you and your team stay informed, organized and connected, all in one place. It's replacing Skype, so you better get used to it. Then we have SharePoint. SharePoint is being used by organizations to create websites. You can use it as a secure place to store, organize, share and access information from any device. Exchange is an email service offered by Microsoft that's most often used by businesses and academic institutions. It's a highly scalable solution that can support a huge number of users 
and is designed from the ground up to keep email in sync between the server and user's clients. Then we have OneDrive. It's an internet-based storage platform with a significant chunk of space offered for free by Microsoft to anyone with a Microsoft account. Think of it as a hard drive in the cloud. Yammer is a social network feed for you and your team. It works slightly to Teams in allowing you to post conversation and also feed. It's like having Facebook for the office. Microsoft Sway. Sway is a new app from Microsoft Office that makes it easy to create and share interactive reports, personal stories, presentations, and more. Microsoft Stream is an enterprise video service where people in your organization can upload, view, and share videos securely. Planner is built to create boards and manage cards inside it, like Trello, for example. Then we have Power Apps and Automate Power Apps to build stronger applications that you already use, low-code or no-code access. Microsoft Fluid is a new framework in Office that enhances collaboration between teams, document sharing, and task distribution. This powerful tool is based on blocks of different components, such as tables, graphs, or dynamic lists that can be edited by several users in real time. To go deeper inside your data, we have Power by Pro and My Analytics. And we also have Mile IQ. It's a millage tracker app that runs in the background of your phone to track business drives. Mileage tracking is easy and effortless. And last but not least, we have Azure and Intune. Microsoft Azure, formerly known as Windows Azure, is Microsoft's public cloud computing platform. It provides a range of cloud services, including compute, analytics, storage, and networking. And Intune is a cloud-based service that focuses on mobile device management and mobile application management. You control how your organization devices are used, including mobile phones, tablets, and laptops. You can also configure specific policies to control applications. And that was all for today. I really hope you understood the meaning of each application and its purpose. And as I always say, if you want to keep watching and learning from our videos, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.